Hi, I'm David Liu from uh, Melbourne, Australia, and I am here in Copenhagen, in person in Copenhagen at Yula 2022. What a feeling it is, although it was raining all today, the lines were long, but it's all been worthwhile to get back in the saddle in person and see what's going on. And actually today, one thing I really want to tell you about is a little bit about polymyodramatica basic science. Now, that might not be the first thing that comes to mind as to the kind of things that you're jumping at the bit of, but I think it really speaks to how our understanding of PMR as an entity has evolved over um, recent years. And I think there was a previously a time, without wanting to be too coarse about it, where PMR was sort of as a bit of a abstract entity, generalised inflammation, people felt a bit sore and stiff, and perhaps it wasn't always quite as well characterised. And maybe that's because there's, it's not like there's sign dividers that you can put your hands on, or maybe there's that little bit of sign dividers at the beginning that even that disappears uh, quickly with treatment. You don't really get those kind of physical manifestations that you can physically uh, palpate. And so uh, perhaps PMR suffered as a consequence of that. But over time, we've got a better sense as to how things have gone, partially from imaging studies, you know, we have also known about the cytokine profiles going back even to 1990 with Husker de Scupta's work, um, understanding the role of IL-6, but that was still all part of a generalised inflammation process. What we saw at this meeting actually is something very cool from the uh, Groningen vasculitis group uh, led by Elizabeth Brower there, um, and really looking at some uh, really quite interesting work surrounding PMR. So we know that uh, patients with polymerase radica have bursitis, especially in a subacromial bursitis, that may not be the primary causing pathology, uh, probably isn't in fact, but certainly there's a lot of action going on there. So what they did was take a little bit of that out, a little bit of the fluid from that subacromial um, fluid around there, also from the Tina synovitis around there, under ultrasound guidance, not a very easy thing to do, but had a look at that. They were interested, particularly about IL-6, um, but also about things related to macrophages, uh, which they've speculated may well be involved. And what we're really seeing here, quite excitingly, is a much firmer signature as to what PMR looks like immunologically. And what we can see is that there's a role for intermediate monocytes, there's a role for IL at IL-6 and GMCSF coming off that. And really, we're starting to get an idea that there might be targets. Now, of course, we've got agents that target IL-6. We've got agents that target uh, GM-CSF. And we're, we're either using them or testing them in giant cellulitis, obviously closely related to PMR. So we're starting to see the story evolve. I suspect we'll look back on this and say, well, remember what happened at Yulai 2022 that David Liu told us about, about how PMR we were getting a better sense of what the underlying immunological process is. Plenty to go with this story, but I think this is an important moment. For more on everything rheumatology in person and virtually, head on down to roomnow.com.